Welcome to Ego Bangla City SCTV News. This is Nuri Alamein. Tomorrow is the Holy Eid al-Fitr, the main religious festival of the Muslim Ummah will be celebrated across the country tomorrow after completing 30 days of fasting. Tomorrow, the main congregation of the Holy Eid al-Fitr will be held at the National Eid Gah Maidam. The first congregation will be held at 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Eid prayers will be held in the open ground after two years after the shock of the corona epidemic. The Eid fields of the country, including the National Eid Gah, are returning in the form of the traditional image. Meanwhile, the schedule of the Eid al-Fitr prayers has been announced at various mosques and the Eid Gah. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has greeted the countrymen on the occasion of Holy Eid al-Fitr in the video messages. City dwellers are still leaving the capital with their families ahead Eid. But there is no crowd anywhere bus drivers and assistants are spending lazy time in the different bus terminals of the capital. They had never been seen such a scene of the Eid journey before. Meanwhile, passengers arriving at the terminal say they want to return home without any sufferings. Those who were disappointed not to get advanced train ticket got tickets today. With the exception of the one or two, most of the train have left Dhaka on time for their destination. The markets and the shopping malls of the capital are now overflowing with shoppers for the last minute shopping. City dwellers are busy shopping with their relatives. The market stalls are busy till the midnight. As it approaches our all shopping malls of the capital from the sidewalks and to the big and the small are in the presence of the buyers and sellers. Ignoring this intense heat, buyers were gathering in the different markets for the capital since morning. Meanwhile, buyers and the sellers have mixed reactions to the price, but shopping has stopped. Vendors are expecting profit this year in the Sharob Eid Bajar. Environmentalists fear acid rain in the Rathshahi as the air is consuming the toxic acid sprayed from the gold bar. The result can be catastrophic in any time. Not only that, but also the artisans who have been working in Jalasi for the long time with the serious health risk like cancer. More than a thousand artisans have been working year after year on health risk. But it's term all don't want to walk for the road due to the intensity of the smoke. Although the leaders of the Jewelry Association have no problem with this. However, environmentalists say gold ornaments should be removed at least 25 kilometers away from the locality, citing the potential dangers of the gold smelting acid. Otherwise, disasters like acid rain can happen. Hundreds of Muslims gathered in the Makkah and Medina to perform the Eid al-Fitr prayers in the early hours of Monday morning, the Saudi press agency reported. It is also being celebrated in Indonesia, one of the most populous Muslim countries in the world. As there are no strict rules, like before, the worship have spontaneously participated in the Jamaat this year. People from Qatar, Kuwait, Turkey, Bahrain, Palestine, Lebanon, Iraq and several other Middle Eastern countries are celebrating Eid al-Fitr. The biggest religious festival of Muslims are also being celebrated in the Malaysia, Australia, Singapore and France as well. Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. Widespread demonstrations were seen around the globe this weekend as the protesters gathered on the May Day to honor the worker and shame government into the doing more to their citizens. This year, rallies in the France opposed Emmanuel Macron proposed to raise the retirement age from the 62 to 65 years of age, taking place a week after Macron's successful re-election around 250 protests took allies across the country on break out the labor union. Meanwhile, the Cuba, hundreds of thousands of people gathered in the streets in the capital, Havana waving banners and pictures of the Cuban revolutionary leaders. May Day, marches in the country are celebrating on the 63 years old revolution and the government-led rejection on the Cold War era embargoes imposing by the U.S. Greece, meanwhile, saw 10,000 people. You are up to date with the Iro Bangla City SATV News and to know the latest news, visit www.sctv.tv. Stay with SATV.